Bob Johnson with Verizon Technology, and today I'm going to demonstrate the 4790 extractor and how we handle dirty samples. Before we get into the demonstration, I'd like to talk a little bit, bit about the discs themselves. This is a conventional 47 millimeter disc, and this is a 90 or 100 millimeter disc. And the problem we've had in the past of handling dirty samples is fine particulate matter will plug a small disc. Therefore, the conventional wisdom has always been to use a larger disc and get a significant increase in the surface area. The problem is that when you use a larger disc that has packing material, the cost of this disc can be four to five times greater. So there's not an economic reason or advantage of using a bigger disc. In comparison with a cartridge, we would never be able to handle dirty samples on such a small bit. And the sample that I'm actually going to run today is here. This is five grams of a bentonite clay, which gives a range of around two to five microns. So in order to handle the sample and provide comparisons, just to show, this would be a conventional 47 millimeter disc. This would be a conventional 90 millimeter disc. And what we've done is actually designed a custom holder whereby I can use a small 47 millimeter disc in the bottom and put a 90 or 100 millimeter pre-filter on the top. I'm going to use a standard C18 disc. This is a standard product from Horizon called the Atlantic disc. And how we use this assembly is we take the disc, invert it upside down in the holder. I have a collar that we insert in. And I hold that in place with a retaining ring. On the top of this, I'm going to load a metal screen. And the screen provides a pathway for the water sample to filter through. I have two pre-filters that I'm going to put on. Because of the sample that I'm running, because of the fine particulates, I'm going to put down a one micron pre-filter first. This disc simply presses down, and it's designed such where the pre-filter seals on the edge of the holder, so I'll get a good seal. Then I put a 5 micron filter on the top, and I'm ready to run. I'm going to load the disc holder assembly onto the extractor. The sample itself, we've designed this unit to use the original sample container. I put a piece of aluminum foil over the opening and hold that foil in place with a cap adapter. And the reason we do this is it allows me to now invert the sample load it on the extractor because the extractor will automatically rinse the sample bottle with the extracting solvent at the end of the run. Today we're really just going to look at the time it takes to filter this sample. So I come over, I load the sample down, I press it in place, I turn the bottle three quarters of a turn, and now I'm ready. I've got a demonstration method that I will run, and what we're really going to do is look at the time it takes to filter this sample. So I've started the extractor. The unit is going to deliver a pre-wetting solvent, which in this case is acetone. It's just going to condition the pre-filter and the disc. And once the disc is conditioned, we will immediately go into filtering the water sample. That's three minutes into the run. And again, we can see that we're just almost halfway through. That's four minutes into the run and we're just a little beyond halfway. That's five minutes into the run. Still coming down with a nice flow. Six minutes. Seven minutes. That's eight minutes. Nine minutes. That's 10 minutes. We can see that we're almost empty with the bottle. That's 11 minutes. The sample is drained from the bottle. It is now just coming out of the water end valve. That's 12 minutes, and the disc is almost dry. The liquid sensors will now pick up and sense that the water sample has finished, and it will advance into the air dry step. 
Now we can see the water being pulled through. The surface is dry. So that's 12 minutes, 45 seconds to filter a one liter sample with high suspended material. So here's the disc holder that we used. Here's the pre-filter on the top. This is a five micron. And this is where we've collected most of the clay. What I'm going to do is lift the pre-filters out. So let's separate these pre-filters first. On the top is the 5 micron. We can see most of the clay held on that disc. The white the one micron underneath is fairly clean, but the important part is that the SPE disc, in this case the C18 disc, is nice and clean. So it shows that with this style holder of protecting the analytical disc with two pre-filters on the top, we can handle very dirty samples that have high particulate content.